DJ Vlad has apologised to Marlon Waynes and Shannon Sharp. You're not dreaming, people. It's real. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, yes, DJ Vlad from Vlad TV. A mainstay in hip hop culture. Some people may call him a culture vulture. Has been making the hip hop news a lot in recent times. Mostly he's out there asking the questions that might bring out a controversial response. But this time, or in recent times, he's been saying the controversial things himself. Shannon Sharp obviously had the biggest interview of the year with Cat Williams and he's been going online saying that he made millions from that one interview. He said something like he made more money from that one interview with Cat Williams than any NFL year. We're talking about well, how much money I made during the Cat Williams interview. Whatever you think, I just got the check. So whatever you think I made, three exit. Yeah. So if you think I made 500,000, three exit. If yeah. you think I made a million, three exit. If yeah. you think I made two million, three exit. <laughs> I got me a little something of day with Ocho. Look at that Ocho. That's the John Mayer. Discontinue. Your body is a wonderland. <laughs> you know what I put it like this here. I made I made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. Ooh. I said the Cat Williams interview, mm -hmm. that one interview, I made more money on that one interview than I in, than I did in any one year of my NFL career. Mm -hmm. Now y'all go look up my NFL career and see what my highest earning year was. And Cat did that. Cat did. Thank you, thank you, Cat. Oh yeah, for sure. Thank you, Cat. And I, then I, followed up with Monique. Oh, mm -hmm. Monique hit it out. Hey, y'all sleep now. She about 14 mil. Now, Vlad did not believe it. Vlad, because obviously he's been on YouTube for about 15, 16 years, strongly doubted Shannon Sharp, saying that he's a liar. A lot of people felt like Vlad was going after Shannon Sharp because he was hating, and also because Shannon Sharp doesn't go on other people's platforms to interview. And I think even Vlad offered to interview him and Shannon Sharp kind of was like, yeah, I'll do it, but hasn't come through yet. Well, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, Vlad. But like I said, DJ Vlad has apologized to Shannon Sharp and it was DJ Academics that brought it out of him. Because as Vlad is interviewing Academics at the moment, Academics broke down exactly how Shannon Sharp could have and definitely did make the money that he says he made from that one interview. He mentioned how he would have made loads of money from the premium ads on YouTube. He wouldn't have got paid the same rate as every other hip hop content creator because the numbers that one interview was bringing in, YouTube would have given him a bigger slice of the pie, if you know what I'm saying. And then you go into Facebook ads, and apparently Facebook ads is big money. You look at TikTok revenue, who knows, maybe you put it on even Snapchat, and maybe some little endorsement deals came out from that interview. You never know. But once academics finished breaking it down for the OG DJ Vlad, Vlad conceded and admitted he might have been wrong. Which is big for Vlad. If anyone knows Vlad, he doesn't apologize for nothing. And if you don't know about the Marlon Wayne situation, DJ Vlad was trying to get Marlon Wayne to come onto his platform so he could interview him. Marlon asked for $40,000 for him to get on the show plus like 30% of any of the revenue that video would make in the future. Which was kind of crazy, I ain't gonna lie. But Vlad, instead of keeping the negotiations private, he decided to take it public and pretty much try and drag and embarrass Marlon Wayans for the money he was asking for. Vlad went on to the point where he would even make it a topic of discussion on his channel. He asked about three different guests about what they thought about what Marlon Wayans was asking for. I think he asked D.L. Hughley, asked Elliot Wilson, I believe he even asked academics. But it was Tony Yayo that he asked and then made Vlad apologize. Tony Yayo, former G-Unit rapper, he said that Vlad is becoming too cocky with his opinions. He needs to be humble. Do like Kendrick Lamar and be humble, Vlad, just like Yayo said. And they were really going back and forth. It was crazy. Unfortunately, I can't play the clip because Vlad doesn't let people play his content on other channels. But yeah, it was pretty much saying that the Waynes are legends and Vlad should not try and go after black legends like that when he's a guest in the culture. They started breaking down all the different people, artists, singers, actors 
that came through Wayne's program in Live and Color. They went from J-Lo to Jim Carrey and all the other guest appearances that have come through there as well. Mentioned white chicks, all of that. And eventually DJ Vlad said, hey, you know what, yeah, yo, you're right. I apologize to Marlon Wayans. He even went on to say that if Marlon Wayans wants to do an interview in the future, it's all good, there's no beef from him. He even bigged up some of the roasting that Marlon Wayans did towards him during their Twitter rant. And said also that he respects Marlon Wayans, that's why he contacted him in the first place. But to me, I just can't see Marlon Wayans doing that. But we all know this is what Vlad wanted in the first place. He just wanted to cause up some drama to bring more views to his channel and he got exactly what he wanted. So now he's apologizing, hoping that in the future, he'll probably get that interview with Marlon Wayans. But you know what, these days, I'm so skeptical. Maybe Marlon Wayans and DJ Vlad did this as a ploy. So when he does eventually come onto the channel, it does do some serious numbers. It won't do Cat Williams numbers, but it might do some pretty big ones. But at the same time, I can't imagine Marlon agreeing to do that sort of publicity stunt. But in summary, I totally agree with Tony Yayo. I think Vlad has come out a bit too cocky, flexing a bit too much. He did something similar to Nadeska the other week and criticized her. He's criticized Shannon Sharp now. I think going after Marlon Wayans is taking it a bit too far. Like Yayo said, the Wayans are a serious legendary family. Every member of them are legends. And I think Vlad probably gauged he's bitten a bit too much than he can chew and thought, hey, Black people don't like me here already. Let me not diss one of their legendary families. But the apology won't do much good, Vlad. People are still gonna look at you like a culture vulture. Just keeping it real. But that's just my opinion. I wanna know yours. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's fresh hip hop opinion. Peace and love. We're talking about well, how much money I made during the Cat Williams interview. Whatever you think, I just got the check. So whatever you think I made, three exit. <laughs> Let me see. So if you think I made 500,000, three exit. Let me if see. If you think I made a million, three exit. Let me see. If that. you think I made two million, three exit. Let me see it. Let me see it. <laughs> I made I made more money on yeah. Cat Williams alone than I made in any year that I played the NFL. Ooh. I said the Cat Williams interview. Mm -hmm. That one interview. I made more money on that one interview than I in, than I did in any one year of my NFL career. Mm -hmm. Now y'all go look up my NFL career and see what my highest earning year was. And Cat did that. Cat did. Thank you, thank you, Cat. Oh yeah, for sure. Thank you, Cat.